competitive like... storm. Oh yes, an old competitive storm. Or the question is, what what is competitive storm? That is the That's good question. The... What is competitive storm? That is really hard to say. I mean, and is cause... it truly competitive? That's another question. Is it? What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Well, that is a good question. So I think that there are different ways to play Storm competitively, right? So people assume... People assume... Well, I think it was more up in the air before, right? And whoever wins, wins. However you win, you win. But now there's a way to win, and that is by... People are saying the way to win is with by playing the meta. The way to win is by seeing what is the strongest possible team you can come up with. And there's a set of those teams. Maybe there's like 20 to 100 of those teams, right? Out of the hundreds of thousands of combinations. So you see those teams, those 20 to 50 teams, say, right? Or 20 okay. to 30 teams. And those people bump heads and bump heads and they keep pushing the game mechanics as much as possible with those teams, and then the best player wins. So that is typically what Competitive Storm has become in Storm 4. I think that's uh, how it started in Storm 2, but somewhere from Generations, the arc of Generations, Storm 3, and Revolution, it was not that. There was that happening, but that the real skilled players, right, like what people would consider is skill in other games came out of the woodworks and and actually saturated those games to the point where it was almost at least at the same level, if not people with real skill would actually beat even meta teams. But then sometime in Storm 4, we got game-breaking glitches because of switch mechanics. Now, in switch mechanics, we got game-breaking glitches like the chakra recovery glitch and all this jitsu buffering, right? They just call it jitsu buffering, and they think it's intended mechanics, but there's nowhere ever that there's any proof or receipts from the developers that anyone has shown. Maybe there are, but no one's ever shown it. They just say it's there, but no one shows you the screenshot. No one shows you the interview with a developer saying, yes, we... Yeah, of course they intended for leader switching, but they uh, it, they extrapolate all the things that come with it as intended. When no, as we, it never is. Yeah, that's not at all true, right? So, and people right. get upset when you mention it because they really believe this, almost like it's a, a cult-like philosophy, right? Uh, and it has become in many ways in Storm 4, not just competitive Storm, not just meta players, but it has become in many ways a, a cult. Which is really odd, right? And there's a lot of... Th <laughs> yeah, I know. And it, 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 it's tough. Not a, not a lot of people are going to like it, but it doesn't mean it's not true. And when you really break down all these things, we can really better understand everything and then enjoy everything for what it is. Instead of... That's where a lot of the toxicity comes from, right? Is the fact that the game yeah. isn't balanced. The game has a lot of game glitches and game-breaking things. And then... The other thing is, is that the fact that it's very easily accessible and, you know, a little too accessible. It's a great idea to have this accessibility, right, where anyone can play the game and enjoy it. But when we mm -hmm. take it competitively, it presents us with a different set of problems. Where kind of oh. like people with less skill can be people that are more skilled if they just use the broken stuff in the game like the strongest character, like the Hagaroma Lightning Bolt and all this, right? But then it gets conflated because really skilled players, like a, a big set of them, a big portion of them, will do that too. So you have skilled players using broken things, and you have unskilled players or less skilled players using broken things, and they can actually compete with each other. And sometimes the less skilled player wins because they have the same broken teams, and sometimes just by chance they win, other times the connection gives them the advantage. And no one talks about that until recently. That's why I made a lot of videos about it. So, okay. yeah, so that's kind of the breakdown. So it's kind of interesting, though, to see that arc. Before there was leader change in Switch Tech, there was kind of a consistent arc where even though things were broken, you could fight back. But actually in connections with the weaker guard, the, the limited movement compared to other games, uh, and a lot of other things, 
you actually can't fight back against the broken stuff as much as a skilled player. Everyone is kind of streamlined. You either do this or you don't do this. You commit, you commit, you commit, and then you win or you die. Hmm, that's interesting. So basically, if I'm not using shit like Hog or Omo, then I'm not playing competitively. Is that it? That's what a lot of people think. I don't well, think that because I think the way that I play is competitive as well with two-man teams, with meaningful neutral, with with you you know, creating the neutral and making choices in the neutral instead of just having the neutral p- being played out by these broken things like Shikamaru uh, parachute bags or balloons, uh, Tamari, uh, adult Tamari, Shippuden Tamari, and her Gale right. Jitsu, and Hagoromo Lightning Bolt, and these types of characters. Like, a lot of the times, well, why are they so good? You have to look at it. It's because it, one, like you said, steals your turn, but two, it does the neutral work for you to give you that advantage in setup. It wastes the substitution bars for you, and it it allows you to get free entries that you can't get countered. And see, people say, said that I was crazy a long time ago when I was bringing up the stuff about using Kamui Kakashi and how. Oh, that's broke. That was the best that jitsu. Much. That was the best that's, jitsu before the patch. Number one best jitsu. See what I mean? And then not only that, before the patch, because I think I did that video like before the patch I mean I it still works it, it <laughs> still works but yeah. it was ridiculous even more so and it was like all right I here's what I did to some dude right so I was I was using Kamui Kakashi I was using the broken ass dolphin Naruto yeah and then I was using heavy Sasuke with the 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 Kyren, right the I mean Kyren it's a good team ultimate. Yeah, and or K- Kieran, yeah, it's a good team. Kieran, 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 yeah, it it's is. It's all Kieran. good, it's all good. So, <laughs> so, I mean, I was, like, literally pinning this dude down the whole time, and all I, if I really wanted to, all I could have did was just pop the damn alt, and he's going to get blasted by it. Oh, for sure. by the time he's done blocking, guard breaks, lightning comes down, boom. And that shit actually happened. So, I mean, like, that's just, uh, you know, that is some crazy shit. And when I look at competitive, I look at it this way. Just by playing the game, it's all, no matter how anybody plays, you're in a competitive environment anyway. You can't sit there and say, oh, if you're not using this team, then it's not competitive play. You're playing a damn competitive game, bro. It's already competitive by nature. It's just that you're using something that gives you more of an advantage. I, I completely agree. There. I completely agree. Can I give you a good, ex- like a decent example that maybe understands? Go for it. It's kind of like saying in, in boxing or in fighting that only heavyweights are the true competitive. Lightweights and you know middleweights or whatever weights, they're not competitive. It's not real. That's completely right. false, right? Like, people love uh, Floyd Mayweather, right? Right. And they love Conor McGregor. They love those fights. Those are not heavyweight fighters. Yeah, wasn't they like, I don't remember, wasn't they more like welterweight or something? Yeah, like it was I like, it's like, yeah, it's like welterweight and like heavyweight. There's different, there's different categories, right? You can't just pick one of the categories and say this is the only true competitive Another good example, like Bruce Lee. Some people consider him one of the best, if not the best, martial artists of all time, but his stature right. was not... He was very short, and he didn't weigh a lot. Right? right. So what, he's not competitive right. just because he's not in a certain weight class? Right. right. It's like we have to throw nukes at each other. It's kind of like, you know, if people have a sword fight, or a knife fight, or a gun fight, that's not competitive. You need to be in a like submarine hitting each other with missiles. Like torpedoes, yeah. you know, you, yep. like I don't get it. There's, there's yeah. anything can be competitive, right? Like two, two like fighter jets in the air, in a dog fight, that's competitive. One of them's gonna be shot, yeah. the other one's gonna be okay, most likely, right? So like yeah. everything can be competitive. It just depends on, are you on an equal playing field, and do you have similar, you know, similar things going on there? But the problem is the game, you know, 
it kind of it just leaves everything open and it creates a lot of issues. The yeah. social part of the community is kind of all over the place, right? Yeah, kind of like a bit of a division, too. Because it's like, because that's what I feel like. There's like this huge divide, right? You have one group that says that you have to play meta. Then you have, and if you're not playing meta, you know something's wrong with you. And then you have other people that just wants to play the game, you know, just enjoy the game for what it is. And they don't, and they don't always feel like having to use the most broken shit and just enjoy the damn game. I mean, like, and then you have some people that's just there, you know what I mean? They don't understand the damn thing. They're just playing the game. To They're just there along for the ride, huh? Yeah, they don't even know what a dash cut is. That's just how, how you know. That's just how far behind they are. Cause you could say, okay, cause there are some people that would say a lot of shit about the game, or you know, like tell somebody that they're garbage at the game or whatever, but they don't even know what a dash cut is. Perfect yep. example. Like, do you know what a dash cut is? Do you know what a jump guard is? And a lot of people don't... Not everybody, but people that really play the game to, uh, I guess, to a, a bit more than the typical, typical casual casual. I mean, even lesser than casual, because I feel like there's charge the term, guard too. Yeah, that too. I feel like the term casual is just that term has been thrown out so. Oh, loosely. dude, it's they totally it's totally slanderous. There. It's like yeah, it really is. It's re- it's almost like a derogatory term, right? Or elitist, yeah. right? At least elitist. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, that's yeah. just a casual, you know, like. Yeah. Why Why do they have to be a casual though? You know what I mean? Like, oh, why could? Because I mean. When I look at myself, all right, I look at myself. I'm not nowhere near a player that just 100% knows all the tech and all this kind of stuff. But I do understand some of the things that the that like the other other people would not like. The simplest term, jump guarding. You know, the jump guarding. Like I knew that since what. Storm freaking three. Yeah, it's and a long time. You have yeah, that was a long almost time. a decade ago, some, or about a decade ago. Yeah, it's been around forever. Uh, but and dash cutting has been around for a long ass time. And some people are, you know, this may be their first storm game, and they know nothing about that, and they're wondering why people are, you know, like you know, doing that. Like, why are they doing that? Why are they standing there jumping in the air? It it used to be yeah, a somebody, strong tool. Some, yeah, somebody called me a jump jump, jump guard spammer. <laughs> or I was but spamming jump. Your... And I was like, okay. In rank, too. He messaged me. I didn't message him. Wow. He's like, you're, you were spamming jump. You're a jump spammer, jump guard spammer. I was like, uh... Bro. Well, that's your... That's one of your better defensive options. If yeah, you, you kind of have to learn to it in this game, or, you know, it's part of the game. Yeah, I feel like it's not as strong anymore now, though, especially no. with the whole when you jump guard too high and you come down hard and now you're wide open. Because it used to never be like that. It, it used to never be like that, but now your ass is. Yeah, the landing frames always get you tonight. now. Yeah, it it was never like that before. Yeah, I don't remember before, landing before. frames open uh, opening up your guard like in the maybe the first few games. Like maybe it Especially did, but I don't remember Storm that. 3. Yeah, Storm Three, Jens. I don't Gens. remember it. Yeah, I, I don't, don't remember, remember that. I think May- guarding was really was it, solid. Was it like that in Storm Four? I'm not. Ah, uh, yeah, recall. I think there were landing frames, but it's like even it seems even more open now. 